Larry, Larry Cohn is one of my favorite directors. I've learned everything I know from watching Larry Cohn's film. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I had a, a number of nice meetings with Hitchcock. Every time I met with Hitchcock, it was three and a half hours. You'd have a lunch with him or a meeting with him. Three and a half hours later, you're still talking to him. He loved to do the anecdotes, tell you the mm -hmm. scenes from movies that he never used, and tell you tell you who Jack the Ripper was. And, you know, I mean, I'll never forget. He says, you, you want to know who Jack the Ripper was? I'll tell you. He was a, he was a kosher butcher. He says, yes, that's why he was so good at slicing up those prostitutes. Because he was a kosher butcher. And the Jewish community in London tracked him down themselves and killed him because they didn't want racial prejudice to permeate the air. So that's the secret of it. I says, that sounds a lot like the, the movie... Uh, M. A M. Yes, it does yeah, sound like M. That's the same plot as M. He was telling me that was the story. <laughs> yeah, <I can> really. <laughs> that's great. Oh, Hitch, he was... He was. I enjoyed him though, and he seemed to like me, yeah, you know. So he, you know, we we had a couple of nice meetings. But my, my, the picture I wanted to make with him never got off the. Was ground. it something involving a phone booth? The picture. The <coughs> no, we talked about doing a movie in a uh -huh. phone booth, but we couldn't figure out how to do it. And then years later, after he died, it came to me that I already had done it when I had a scene, and God told me to with the sniper on top of a, a water tower right. shooting people. And I said, why don't I take the sniper and put him with the phone booth? And the sniper is keeping the guy from leaving the phone booth. So now I've got, I figured out how to do it. 